Hi and welcome to How Encoding. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and in this screencast I will show you how you can create a very simple ASP.NET MVC helper. Okay, if you haven't watched previous videos, you can check it out. Uh, these are the videos. I'm on highencoding.com at the URL. You can see introduction to ASP.NET MVC helpers. It's the latest video and I also uh, have the article. It's called Introduction to ASP.NET HTML Helper. So that will get you started with that. Let's now move on to our code. So what are HTML helpers? If you haven't seen the previous video, go back and check it out. Uh, and what we are going to do is we're just going to create a simple text box and it will be a, let's just call it a blue text box. So basically the HTML helper will allow you to create a blue text box, okay? Now let's go to the extension methods because HTML helper is basically just an extension method. First thing to notice is the class is static. I'm just going to add a one method public, oops, uh, static string, and you can say like blue text box. We're going to ex uh, uh, extend HTML helper class, okay? And you can provide name and all that stuff, but in this case, just going to say okay return dot empty so in order to create a text box what do you do well you can say var i don't know why i keep jumping to other places but so we can say input type uh text okay and uh, seems like that's pretty much all you need i'm just going to say return html but this is not really a blue text box, right? So how we can make it blue? We can say style equal to um, background color blue. So this will create a blue text box. Let's compile this. Now if I want to use it in my view, I'm just going to go to index view, okay? And I'm going to say HTML dot and you will see that now you see uh, you will it will be visible to you the blue text box okay let's compile this let's run it and i'm using firefox browser so you'll see that when that particular uh, helper is included in your page it will display a blue text box now if you go and view the source you will see that whatever you typed over there in the extension methods will be visible over here. Okay, so you just created yourself a blue text box. This is not the only way to create a HTML extension method uh, or extending, yeah, extension method for your ASP.NET helper, okay? Or to create basically an ASP.NET MVC helper. You can also use a tag builder tag builder equal to new and you will see that there is a new class in the MVC framework namespace it's called tag builder it will ask you what kind of tag do you want to build I'm just going to say okay input tag okay and you can say okay return tag builder dot to string You can go over here and you can refresh the page. You'll see that it's not blue anymore, but it is a text box and you can write stuff in it. Okay, so let's make it blue. So you have tank builder dot and you have different things now over here. Okay, so you have merge attribute. You also have attributes, okay which is like, uh, and then you have also add CSS class. Now, if you say merge attribute, you will have a string, which is a key, and a, you also have a value, okay? So let's do merge attribute, and what I'm going to say over here is that class, the value is background color blue. Oops, and let's go over here and refresh it. And you'll see that when you say class, 
then what you're doing is you are adding it to the attribute. So you're adding basically to the input control you're building and instead of class, it should be style. So I'm just gonna go over here and say style, build this. And I think this one is it. Refresh it. And now it's a change into a blue text box. Okay. Now there are some other old uh, ways of building a text box. Uh, if you remember, we do have the classic way of building, uh, which is uh, like using the web forms text box control. So if I go over here and say text box var tv equal to new. Okay, and I can say tb dot uh, back color equal to whatever the back color I want to set system dot drawing dot color dot blue or something. Okay, so this is basically uh, the web forms way, but now the problem is you need to render it out, and the you will render it to the HTML text writer. Okay, and you don't have HTML text writer, so you will build one out. HTML text writer equal to HTML uh, text writer. Now this takes string writer, so you have to build a string writer equal to string writer. String writer takes a string builder, so you're going to build a string builder, and you'll see that it becomes a little bit uh, uh, for a headache to initialize all these things up. Okay, and this will take a this thing, and you will go to your render and you will render it to your HTML text writer, which will actually write to the string builder using a string writer. Now I can say simply return a string builder dot to string. Okay, let's go and see what actually happens. Okay, so same thing is actually displayed. You'll see input type is text, style is blue, but now you have to type a lot more code to get this working. And this is the text box control, which is like web forms text box control that you are actually using. Okay, so we saw like three ways of building a extender, the ASP.NET MVC extender. Uh, at this point, we, we, we really cannot really decide that which one is the best, but you can always go with the tag builder since it's part of the MVC framework and it will help you to, uh, it, you know, strongly typed and uh, it will help you to create those particular extensions without typing in the string. And it's very easy to uh, make mistakes if you are actually typing a string, okay? So that's pretty much it, I hope you like the video and if you do have any suggestions you can always email me at awesomesharp at gmail.com also visit the website www.highoncoding.com if you do want to sponsor again email me at awesomesharp at gmail.com if you want to donate email me at awesomesharp at gmail.com thank you very much